Right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. This time we're going to have a look at this. The Porsche 718 Cayman just released today on iRacing. I've not driven it yet. It's a GT4 class, so it's it's going to be a little bit slower. But it actually it doesn't look too bad. It's quite a nice looking car. Um, I'm interested to see how it drives. And it's also got the new damage model. So, of course, we're going to try that out as well. So, let's get in. So I've not driven the car yet. Have I got auto start on? No, I haven't. There we go. Right, the steering wheel. That sounds a bit... Oh, why isn't it revving? Has it got a pit limiter on it? No, there we go. I mean, it feels a bit dead. I must say, it feels a little bit dead. It looks quite nice inside. I like the look of the dash. The dash looks good. So we're at Brands Hatch. I thought we'd just do a couple of laps around Brands. So presumably, this is going to be on the new tyre model as well, I would guess. So I'm interested to see how this drives and whether it still be close uh, time-wise, speed-wise with the uh, Audi, the TCR. I don't know if it will or not. So we'll just try and get a couple of laps on the tyres. And we'll try and push it a little bit. See if we can get it to crash. So there's a lot of new cars on this build with the new damage model. Uh, which I'm quite excited about. The Audi TCR is one of them. We've obviously got this one. Uh, the Chevy Impala. The uh, NASCAR, Canon car, that's got the new damage model. So I'll be interested to see how that, what that deforms like on the oval side of things. But it's definitely slower than the Porsche Cup car, I think. I think I can lap around here in the Porsche Cup car around about 126. I mean, I'm obviously just using baseline setup here as well, so... It's not going to be as quick as it could be. Uh, it's it's a bit dead. I don't, can we can we turn off the traction control? I don't know if we can. Let's just see what kind of time we can do around Brands. Yeah, the gearing's a bit funky. Can we adjust the brake bias? Yes, we can. Can we adjust the traction control? I can't see anything moving on the dashboard. To suggest we can. A bit understeering with this setup. Not very slidey. Not very slidey at all. But it, it, it'll probably offer good racing this though. It's not quick, uh, you know, as quick as a GT3, obviously. And generally, the slower the, the car, the better the racing is. This might be a happy medium. I thought that about the TCR, but. The front wheel drive kind of killed it for me. Uh oh. So that was a 134.7. Right, do you think we should crash it? What do you reckon? And see what the damage model's like. I'm not expecting a lot from it, to be honest. Right, let's have a look at the replay and see what damage was caused to it then. Uh, let's have a look at the TV cam. It's not a bad looking car though, I must admit. Yeah, let's have a look. So what flew off then? The spoiler flew off, so the spoiler's on the floor. Let me get to a better camera. Uh, front rear chase, that's the one. 
So the bonnet flew up a little bit then. That's good. None of the wheels fell off though. The spoiler fell off the rear. Let's see if we can inflict a little bit more damage than that. I think we've got a meatball for that though. Right, let's let's really try and let's really try and damage this son of a gun. Oh, the new sounds are funky as well. I hope we can adjust the traction control. I've not even checked. All I did was map my buttons to it. All right, come on. I've got some damage to the rear though by the by how it feels. Let's just have a look at the car because it didn't feel didn't think there was any damage to the car. Then let's just have a look. Uh, chase. No, there's no real damage to it, so I don't know why it did that. But the car looks pretty beat up. But what we want to see, I'm sure you want to see, just as much as I want to see, is wheels flying off. Let's see if we can get it to do that. <laughs> right, that's probably just scraped the, uh, the front bumper. All right, let's try and get a, a high-speed crash going now. Where shall we crash? That was just a bog-standard spin. That's the... Uh, must be the new tyre model. Must be. It's got to be the new tyre model. Right. There we go. Come on. Let's get back on track. Let's see what it's like. We need some proper speed, though. What do you reckon? So if I did that... I didn't really do much. I didn't really do much there, so... Is that my wing mirror fell off there? Let's just have a little look at that. No, nothing there. Nothing really there either. No, there's a wheel locked up there though, front wheel. Let's try one more time. See if we can get this thing to explode. You'll have to excuse me if I'm sniffling. I've got a bit of a cold. So apologies. Alright, here we go. I think up here is probably going to be our best bet, I think. If we, if we just keep it flat. Right, if that doesn't cause... Yeah, that looks like it's it's got some significant damage. Let's have a look. Let's see what damage we've got here now. So it's a pristine car. So rear chase. Uh, where's rear chase? I'm going to never find it there. So there's a wheel, there's a definite wheel off. There's a definite wheel off there. Yep. I don't know how it's still hanging on. Is it hanging on? So if we go front right. Front right, there we go. So it disappeared underneath. The wing mirror got taken off. I think that ended up inside the car. But there's little bits bearings flying off there. That was that's a nice touch. There we go. 
Well, I don't know what you think. I think it might be, might not be a bad car to drive this. It could be a close series, I think, um, once people get used to it and seeing what it's like compared to the Audi will be interesting, how quick they are or how far off each other they are on track. Anyway, that's a quick look at the Porsche um, and the new damage model associated with that. I want to go and have a look at some other stuff now. Catch you later.